In this video, we're going to do a quick worked example of using trial and improvement to solve an equation. We're given the equation 2x cubed plus 1 is equal to 103. The question says using trial and improvement, find the value of x to one decimal place. In this particular question, we're told x is between 3 and 4. We won't always be given this information, so sometimes we're going to need to find a starting point. In order to answer this question, I'm just going to draw up a little table. I'm going to have my first column, which is going to be the value of x, the second column, which is going to be the answer, and the third column, which is going to be a comment. The comment is too big or too small. So here are my values of x. Here is the answer that we're given. So that will be what we calculate. And remember, we're aiming for 103, and then now our comment. So let's go ahead and set this up on a calculator. So on a calculator, all we need to do is copy this. So we're going to have 2, then I'm going to substitute in values of x into the bracket, I'm going to cube the bracket, and then I'm going to add 1. So we're just looking now to replicate the formula just here. So let's start now by putting in x is equal to 3. So if I now try 3, quite clearly we're going to see that this is going to be too small. If I didn't have this value given to me, I would try 3. If we put that in, 55. So we can put in 55. Our comment now is that that is too small. We want to be shooting now for 103. So let's go ahead and put 4 in. If we put 4 in, all we're going to do is swap over. So we started now with these two endpoints. That's going to be 129. So we've got 129. And we can say that that is too big. So from this, we can see that the answer is now between 3 and 4. We can see that it's going to be closer to 4 than it is 3. At this stage, you could work back down from 4. We only take values of x to one decimal place. There should be no value in here that's of any high accuracy. So we don't want two decimal places or three decimal places. We're just going to be working to 1. What I'm going to do, though, is just do 3.5. As stated, you can work back down from 4 if you like. I'm going to do 3.5 and we can look at that. So if we put this in, we're going to have 3.5 and we're going to end up now with 86.75. So 86.75 and we can see that that is going to be too small. So at this stage, we can make now the comment that this is somewhere between 3.5 and, and 4. What I'm going to do is just work up from here. So the next one that I'm going to choose is 3.6. So if I now put in 3.6, that will give us now the next value. So I'm not doing 3.55, I'm just going to do 3.6. So let's do 3.6, and that's going to give me now 94.312. So 94.312, this is still too small. So all I'm doing is taking values of x and increasing them. Let's now go ahead and do 3.7. So if I put that in, we're going to have 3.7, and that will be 102.306. So 3.7 is 102. Let's just get that back there. Uh, 306. This is very close, but it's still too small. We're aiming to get 103. So if I now do 3.8, we'll see that this one is going to be too big. So 3.8, if we substitute this in, that's going to give me now, what have we got? 110.744. So 110.744. Now, this is going to be too big. So we can see that it's going to lie somewhere between these two. When you're doing trial and improvement, you must show, in general, five values of working in here. That's the general idea. So... What we know is that it's going to be somewhere between 3.7 and 3.8. We only need to give this to one decimal place. So one decimal place, we don't need to do it to 3.75, 3.76, it's one decimal place. The way I like to think about this now is that we have these two endpoints. Often you can see which one it is. Alternatively, what we can do is test the middle of the two. So what we've got here is the 3.7. Now this is going to be too small. The 3.7 is too small. 
the 3.8 is too big. And clearly, if you look at this, we can see that it's going to be 3.7. Alternatively, we can just now try the midpoint. So what we've got then, if we just put this in, we've got 3.75. So we can see 3.75 goes in, and we end up now with 106 point uh 106.46 let's write this in so i've tried now the midpoint of the two so we get 106 point and just jotting this down uh 46875 so 46875 and we can say that's too big if we look at this now this one is going to be too small this one is going to be too big and still when we try the midpoint right here this is too Big. Therefore, everything in this particular bracket here will round to 3.7 to one decimal place. Anything in here now would round to 3.8. So what we can say then is that this is going to be 3.7 and that's to one DP, so to one decimal place. So all I've done is tested the midpoint. You can visually see that it's going to be closer to 3.7, but testing the midpoint finishes the question off. If this had been too small, we would have rounded up to 3.8. So that's a quick example of using trial and improvement to find the value of x to one decimal place. All of these values in here are to one decimal place. Then we test the midpoint to show that it will round to 3.7 to one decimal place. This answer will always be now to one decimal place.